Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review comparison, kind of, on the Laura Mercier pan liners. I have two different types of them, and the Chanel, it's called, uh, what do they call theirs? Eyeliner. They just call it an eyeliner duo that looks like this. Now, first I want to start with the Laura Mercier. I had had Laura Mercier for quite a few years before I ever started YouTube or doing things like that. And I always use this product. And this is what it looked like in the pan. And this is what the back of it looks like. Okay, and it's in black ebony. And it just says eyeliner. Okay, that being said, I then people started telling me the one I was using was called the tight liner. So I picked one up. And this is in the color blue marine. And they just told me that the packaging had changed slightly, that you could now pop out the piece in the middle and that it was the same product, okay? Then I talked to, and this is the, the Blue Marine is in the tight line eyeliner, okay? So I thought that that was true and I had a black one in this and I actually have it at um, our other house and it never worked the same for me. And how I tend to use these, is I use, oh, sorry, just bang the camera. I use one of two brushes. I should have pulled all this out ahead of time. I use one of two brushes. I either use, this is a Sigma E15, which is a flat shader brush, or liner brush, sorry, not shader, and then, or the E05 for the top line. I use the flat one for tight lining, and I use the pointed one for lining my top line and my lower lash line. I tend to use, this is just a squirt bottle from Sally's Beauty Supply filled with water. I squirt it into the top and I dip the brush into that and then into the product. Uh, that being said, the tight line version wasn't working for me. Couldn't get it to work, thought it was the brush, thought it was the water, but tight line activator by Bare Essentials, or not tight line activator, maybe it's just called eyeliner activator or something. Tried that, um, I didn't pull that out. Not sure where that is right now. Tried that, thought that was the issue. That wasn't working either. Thought it just wasn't getting enough product on the brush, so I tried digging it like more into it. None of those things were working. What I'm finding afterwards is that the Black Ebony Eyeliner is actually the Caviar Eyeliner. So if you're interested in this product, do not get the tight line one unless you physically want to tight line. But honestly, you can tight line with the Black Caviar, Black Ebony Caviar version. So no reason to have both of them. I just find that the tight line version does not transfer as well, does not stay as well, just is not as phenomenal of a product as what I had loved in the Black Ebony. And I think a lot of people ran into that same issue because I had raved about it and then they got the tight line version and didn't understand why it didn't work so well. This is probably why. Then I also tried it, somebody said to me to try it with Fix Plus. Now I will say Fix Plus works fairly well, to me, it's no different really than the water. Um, it does pick up a little bit more product. I'm not exactly sure of why that is, but it does pick up a little bit more product. Um, I have two of these brushes that are specifically for black ones, black liners, and then I have some others that are clean, empty, blank ones that are with nothing on them that are for um, any other colors that I clean after use. The black ones I find work better for me when I build up the product on them. So. Then I had heard, that's the little bit about the Laura Mercier versions. If you are going to go for one of these, I would go for the caviar version. Um, also, I have a set, I love this set. If you wanna try one out, this was a holiday set, uh, Lux Color Portfolio Holiday 2011. And I've used this quite a lot. But this one has three of the eyeliner version, okay? And it's, powder on, I'm sorry, Ground Espresso Eyeliner, Black Ebony Eyeliner, and Burgundy Wine Eyeliner. So you can see those right in this middle line right through here. So that's the Ground Espresso, Black Ebony, and the Burgundy Wine right there. So if you wanted to try these, this is a great way to do it. Also the fact that it comes with their tight lining brush in the set as well. Flat eyeliner brush is what it's called. I used to use that brush. I find it to be a really nice brush, um, but I will, t let me pull it back out and I'll tell you guys this, real show you guys this real quick, because I think someone asked me about the difference in this. Is this brush has way more give than say, where is my, 
where is it? Why can't I find this? Oh, it's right here in front of me. Then, <laughs> then my Sigma brush, you can tell the difference in the height right here. So that's really showing you the difference in what these two brushes are. The Laura Mercier is a great brush, but for the money, I personally prefer the Sigma one. It just has more stiffness to it. This one moves a lot more. Um, and I find that the Sigma one just works better for me. There is another version too. It's the e.l.f. Had these forever in a day. The e.l.f. brush, it is almost exactly like the Sigma one if you can't get a hold of Sigma or don't want to place an order just for one. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys about these and tell you what the difference was that I found between these two products. So that is a huge part. In the meantime, sorry, I have the sniffles. I also heard Lisa Lisa D1 talking about this Chanel. It's actually called Duo Eyeliner Professional in Your LeMay, number 10. And it has a black, and it has a black with a shimmer to it, um, which is almost a dark gray. You can see it right there. You can see the glitter in it a little bit. Um, so I was really excited to give this a try and I purchased it and I love the way it applies. It applies so nicely, very much like the Laura Mercier. However, I found halfway through the day, the color started transferring up into the crease. So I wasn't happy about that. Again, I tried the activator. The activator didn't really do anything for me. I tried the Fix Plus. The Fix Plus worked better again than water. Um, I don't know why I don't tend to grab for the Fix Plus. I just find the water to be easier and it tends to work the same for me. Um, however, with the Chanel one, I will say that it still transfers. And for the money, I think you're talking like Laura Mercier's like, somewhere between 20 to 30, I'm not sure. I'll have all the prices and links on my blog. And the Chanel one is 50 something, 55, 50 something, 50, somewhere around 50 to 60. Yes, you get two eyeliners in it, but if it's gonna transfer, I don't know, it just it wasn't sold on it. So of these two, I would definitely suggest to go with the Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier has a ton of color options. As I said, you can buy it in a set like this. This though is like 98, 95, 98, something like that. Again, it's available on Sephora and probably Nordstrom's because Laura Mercier is available at both of those. But um, I mean, I guess if you wanted to try three colors, you would be at about $90 anyway. So with that, you get three brushes, three eyeshadows and two blushes. So it's probably worth it for that sense if you were looking to try a bunch of their products. And I love Laura Mercier's products, honestly. Um, but I did purchase, by the way, all three of these eyeliners. The only thing I didn't purchase was the holiday palette. Um, but I purchased all these eyeliners um, and I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on because a lot of people have been asking me about that and asking me what my thoughts were and wanting to know just how I use them. I do have a lot of face of the month videos that I tend to apply these products with. Uh, the most recent is the, what would that be? November, December one. Um, and I did apply the Laura Mercier one. I actually applied it out of the book, but it's the same product. So I hope this helps you guys. If you had any confusion, if you had any questions about how I've been using these, I have not been grabbing for any gel liners. I've not been grabbing for any pencil liners. I've not been grabbing for any like, what are these things called? Like these type of liners, the like aqua liners. I haven't been grabbing for any of those things. All I've been using is my pan liners in one form or another. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you have any additional questions on any of the products you saw here. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.